Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Andrew Andrew is the anglicized, English, form of the Greek name Andreas meaning manly, brave, stemming from the ancient Greek neuro, aner, genitive of anthropos, man. As a masculine given name, Andrew's long endurance is owed to a first-century disciple of Christ, St. Andrew. In fact, along with his brother Simon Peter, Andrew was one of the first disciples called by Jesus in the New Testament. Andrew was an early adopter of Christ's message and is often referred to as first called. As a Galilean fisherman by trade, St. Andrew was initially a disciple of John the Baptist and one of the first to recognize Jesus as the Messiah. After the resurrection, St. Andrew went on to preach in Asia Minor and Greece. He became one of the most popular saints in the Middle Ages and was chosen to be the patron saint of Russia, Greece and Scotland. The Saint's Feast Day is November 30th, for more information on St. Andrew, see historical references below. Andrew has long been a hugely popular boy's name in the English-speaking world, but especially in Scotland. Right now, this name is most popular in the United States, ranked on the top 20 list, followed by Scotland. Andrew also enjoys high marks in Canada and Ireland. Personality of the boy name Andrew. The number 11 is a master number and embodies heightened traits of the two. This personality is on a life journey to find spiritual truth. They are extremely idealistic and intuitive. Elevens have a rare and exceptional spiritual energy that brings a sense of obligation to illuminate the world around them. It's a very powerful responsibility, but these people have far more potential than they know. It's important that they surrender to higher ideals. They have the capacity to see the bigger picture, and they possess the skills to inspire others spiritually. Elevens have strong diplomatic skills and can become great peacemakers. Master numbers can be both a blessing and a curse as they walk the fine line between greatness and the potential for self-destruction. Popularity of the boy name Andrew The name Andrew has maintained top 100 rankings as a baby boy's name in the United States for well over 100 years. A manly name choice, Andrew clearly has staying power. Since the early 1980s, the name Andrew has consistently remained on the top 20 list of most popular boys' names. Andrew's popularity is mainly owed to its biblical reference, but its endurance has something to do with its timelessness. Andrew does not come across as outdated like some of the older English-sounding names, George Edward. While still popular in England, Ireland and Wales, the name is thought to be most distinctly Scottish-sounding, they love this name in Scotland. Shortened versions of the name, Andy and Drew, also provide flexibility further securing its popularity. Quick facts on Andrew. Gender boy. Origin, English. Number of syllables, 2. Ranking popularity, 22. Pronunciation, Andrew. Simple meaning, manly, brave. Characteristics of Andrew. Inspirational, extremely bright, uplifting, spiritual teacher, highly intuitive, truth seeker. Cultural references to the baby name Andrew. Popular songs on Andrew. St. Andrew's Fall, a song by Green Day, J.A.R. Jason Andrew Relva, J.A.R. Jason Andrew Relva, a song by Green Day, a song by Blind Melon. Famous people named Andrew. Andy Warhol, artist, Andrew Lloyd Webber, composer, Andrew Jackson, 7th U.S. President, Andrew Dice Clay, comic, Andrew Cuomo, politician, Andrew Johnson, 17th U.S. President, Andrew Blake, film director. Historic figures with the name Andrew. Saint Andrew was a fisherman in Galilee at the time of Jesus in the first century. He and his brother, Peter, were the first disciples called upon by Jesus. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Matthew 4, 20. St. Andrew is often referred to as the strong apostle a man of courage, valor, and manliness. Even his name has noble meaning, coming from the Greek word andrios, which translates to manly, brave. Whoever dares to follow Christ must be andrios, manly, courageous, and Andrew. As the first to follow Jesus, along with John the Baptist, many old manuscripts refer to him with the title of honor, the first called. St. Andrew went on to preach after the resurrection and is traditionally believed to have been martyred on an X-shaped cross, which is how he is often artistically rendered. 
The patron saint of Scotland, legend has it that St. Andrew's bones were brought to modern-day St. Andrew, Scotland after being called upon by an angel to carry the relics towards the ends of the earth and erect a church to house the bones. Present-day St. Andrew is home to the famous golf course as well as the third oldest university in the UK. St. Andrews University, after Oxford and Cambridge, Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States, serving terms between 1829 and 1837. He ran his campaign on his celebrated war hero status, having defeated the British at the Battle of New Orleans. As such, he was extremely popular with the common man and adroitly manipulated their support into office. His 1828 bid for presidency was often considered the dirtiest campaign in history, and his opponents referred to him as Jackass, which he promptly adopted as the mascot of his Democratic Party. As an iron-willed, intimidating manager with a furious temper, people either loved him or hated him. Unafraid, he made politics personal and he abhorred losing. He was given the nickname Old Hickory as homage to his toughness, St. Andrew was a fisherman in Galilee at the time of Jesus in the first century. He and his brother, Peter, were the first disciples called upon by Jesus. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Matthew 4, 20. St. Andrew is often referred to as the strong apostle a man of courage, valor, and manliness. Even his name has noble meaning, coming from the Greek word andrios, which is translated brave. Whoever dares to follow Christ must be andrios, manly, courageous, and Andrew. As the first to follow Jesus, along with John the Baptist, many old manuscripts refer to him with the title of honor, the first called. St. Andrew went on to preach after the resurrection and is traditionally believed to have been martyred on an X-shaped cross, which is how he is often artistically rendered. The patron saint of Scotland, legend has it that St. Andrew's bones were brought to modern-day St. Andrew, Scotland by a monk after being called upon by an angel to carry the relics towards